Hello and welcome from me, Sam. In this video, we're going to go through how to use the extrusion type of 3D printers, like these ones. This type of 3D printer is really popular here at DMAF because it can produce intricate, strong and also cheap parts. This type of 3D printer works by extruding plastic from a reel on the back of the machine. The plastic is pulled off the reel and fed up through a pipe into what's called the hot end. This hot end melts the plastic at about 220 degrees Celsius and is then drawn onto the bill platform or the layers of plastic that it's already drawn. Layer by layer, your object is made. The 3D printing process starts with your design. Make sure you've scaled your design to fit the printer. A one-to-one -one building probably won't fit, and the file size will be excessively big. Every printer should have a build volume written on it in millimetres. Most 3D modelling programs are able to export as a .stl or a .obj type file. These types of files use triangles to describe the surface of your design and are also known as meshes. A mesh surface has a front and a back and a thickness of zero. The 3D printer can only print designs that have a watertight volume, otherwise known as being manifold. A surface by itself doesn't have a volume. This Stamford bunny will have to be repaired before it can be printed. Ideally, you will want to have modelled manifold watertight objects by the time you're exporting your mesh for 3D printing. If this isn't the case, then you might be able to fix things with a repair program like Netfab to make it appropriate for 3D printing. I'll include a link to Netfab below. It's free for those who with access to a student email. Once you have your manifold scaled mesh as a .stl or .obj, you want to slice it in a slicing program like Cura. Cura is free and the link can be found below. You're always welcome to come into DMAF where one of the technicians can help you familiarise yourself with the slicing program. Please don't come in with your STL files on a USB stick. Bring them in on a cloud service like Google Drive or Dropbox. When exporting your model, separate model bodies need to be separate mesh files, those .stl or .obj files. If you export your model part as one mesh, you won't have the freedom to arrange those parts for optimal printing. If a part is identical, we can multiply it in the slicing program, so you can just export one of that type. Once your model is printed, the technician will remove it from the bed. Pointy nose pliers can be useful for removing the brim and the support material of your model. If you feel confident enough to slice your model without the help of a technician, then we can give you access to 3D Printer OS. This will allow you to slice your STL files at home and then send those files to our printers here over the internet. So you can print anytime, anywhere. Here we see all of the different printers here that are able to be viewed over the internet. Have a look on our YouTube channel for more instructions on how to configure Cura and how to use the functions of 3D Printer OS.